Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It is Sunday, February 11th. It is 6.48 at night. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, this video is, um, if you haven't read the title already, it's called Happy 98th Heavenly Birthday Grampy. Um, I figured I would do a special heavenly birthday video for my grampy and I thought I would reflect on the year um and next month will be a year since he has passed away and I thought I would do a little birthday video in memory of him and give my thoughts and how I've been feeling over the past year and yeah so um my grampy, what can I say? He was a wonderful man. He always told us he lived a great life. He had a great great wife, my Grammy, of of um fifty one years they had together. Their love story is so cute, you guys. They met in Singapore while my Grammy um was working at a hotel. My Grammy is from Singapore. And my grampy always said Singapore was the greatest adventure of his life because that's where he met Grammy and they fell in love. And the joke between the two when they first met was Grampy always said, Oh, your Grammy had a nice bum. And Grammy always said to us, Oh, Grampy, oh Grampy really smelled good. And so match made in heaven L O L but Yeah, those two were just really loving towards each other for the past 51 years they shared together um my grampy unfortunately last year ended up getting COVID for the first time and um tomorrow the 12th will be the one year anniversary that he landed in the hospital so last year um on February 12th I got a text message that really changed my life. My heart sank to my stomach. I got a text from my auntie saying that Grampy unfortunately had to um, go to the hospital by ambulance. His blood sugar was sky high at 55. And when you're a diabetic, that's not good. That's a big no-no. So he ended up going to the hospital on the, 90, on the eve of his 97th birthday last year which was just really sad my whole father said minus my father and myself all had covid my grammy had covid my two aunts had covid my cousins had covid no one could go with grampy except for my father who was covid negative so my father ended up posting pictures of the kind nurses that gave my grampy a balloon Wrote happy 97th birthday f for him. Trying to make him feel a bit special on his birthday. Just in despite the circumstances that were going on. And, um, yeah, I was worried all night. I wanted to see him, but I couldn't see him because at the time the hospital here, the regional, had some restrictions when it came to visitors with COVID and all that. And... And only certain people could go see him. Like, my father was the only one that could go see him. And during that whole month, it was just really scary not knowing what was going to happen. My grampy ended up getting better. He got his strength back a little bit. He got rid of COVID. Um, and things were looking on the good for him. They were talking about getting physio put in place at home for him. Some home physio. They were, um, you know, planning for when he was going to be discharged and all that. And then literally a month later on March, I'll say, um, March 3rd, March 3rd it was, um, after almost a month of being in the hospital, March 3rd, I got a text that made my heart sink and break into a thousand pieces. It, I'm trying not to cry. I do apologize if I do cry. Um, my Grammy, Grampy's hemoglobin ended up dropping, which is not good. Um, 
I ended up rushing to St. Joe's Hospice where he was being transferred. And you guys, just seeing him in bed, having his eyes closed, and not talking to us. But he knew we were all there. He just wasn't alert. Um, it made me really sad to see him like that. It really did. And, um, actually that weekend was my 26th birthday. Um, and I'm, I'm being honest, I didn't want to have a birthday last year because Grampy was in the hospital and it wasn't the same without him. But we had a little early birthday celebration that night. He got to hospice. And my grandma got Chinese food. We were able to bring it up and eat it with him, even though he couldn't eat. Because at that point, he wasn't drinking anymore, wasn't eating anything. Nothing was coming out, you know. And it was just a really rough time. Um, Before I went to hospice that day, I was having a conversation with my dad. One of my dad's sisters, Mary to Sarah. And my to Sarah is a nurse. She's amazing. But um, aside from that... I was talking to her about, you know, my grandpa and how I wasn't sure if I wanted to go see him. I really wanted to, you know, see him in that state of not being fully alert and everything. And my auntie Sarah and I talked about it and she said, you know what, sweetie, um, knowing you, I think you should go see him because I think if you don't, you're going to regret it. And you're going to regret not spending that time that we have left with him. And I thought, you know what, Auntie Sarah, you are right. So I went and saw him on March 3rd for the first time after almost a month of being in the hospital. That really broke my heart. I went to the hospice every day for a week. My Grammy kept telling me, you know what, sweetie, you don't have to come if you don't want to. I'm like, Grammy, no. I know I don't have to, but I want to. And... I like to think of myself as a little bit of a spiritual person. My mom's dad has been deceased now for 17 years. And last year, um, March 16 years, um, um, when my grandpa was in the hospice, I got the scent of sweetgrass and sage. And that just reminds me of my mom's dad. And I caught a whiff of it and I was like, oh, my showmas is here with me in spirit. He tried to cry. He's here knowing Grabby's not well and knowing I need a little bit of comfort. And I mean, we feel really special. And um, the day Grampy died on March 12th, I'll never forget it. I was upstairs making breakfast as per usual. And then my phone rang and it was my Auntie Sarah. And I thought, well, Auntie Sarah never calls me. Um, She... Just, just never calls me because she's always so busy and they were in town for a little extended time and um so my phone rang and it was bank to sarah and i thought oh and i thought oh, okay she never calls me maybe they're calling me they to do something fun with them today and that's where my mindset was at and so I picked up my phone and it was my Uncle Alan. It wasn't my Auntie Sarah. It was my Auntie Sarah's husband, my Uncle Alan. And he said, Are you home? And I said, Yeah, I'm home. Why? Then he's like, Okay, then um, who's home with you? And I said, Well, I said, My grandma's husband and my cousin are here with me. Why? And then that's when my Uncle Alan said that Grampy was no longer with us when he had passed away with Uncle Alan in the room. And that. I couldn't breathe for like two seconds. That made me just, um, I felt numb. I still feel a little numb after a year later. Um, I actually bawled when I saw, um, my grandpa's birthday cake that I got for him. Um, I, um, got my grandpa a birthday cake. It's, um, vanilla with custard filling. Um, after this portion of the video, I'm going to play a bunch of pictures along with the birthday cake I got for him. And, um, yeah, so anyways, I'm sorry for crying, you guys. Um, I'm going to be honest, this past year has been so rough. It's finally oh, sinking in that my grandpa's no longer here. It just feels really different. I miss him so much. 
But I like to think that he's up there with my Uncle Normie, gambling, golfing, drinking rum and cokes, getting into all the mischief that they can get into. And I also like to think that he's at peace too. But, um, anyways, I'm going to wrap up by saying happy 19th, happy my birthday, Grampy, wherever you are. I love you so much, and I miss you terribly. But I know you were up there having fun with Uncle Army. And I also like to thank you guys for all your love and support during all of this. This has meant the absolute world to me. And also, I can't wait for the release of my book. Um, I am worthy. I can't wait for you guys to read it. But um, anyways, that is it for this portion of the video. Enjoy the pictures, you guys. Again, happy, happy 98th birthday, Grampy. I love you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.